Hello people of YouTube, my name is Abby Norman and if you haven't been to my channel before, it's nice to meet you and if you have been to my channel before, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, how are ya? So, <laughs> today um, I decided to have a little fun activity plan since I haven't done anything in a while and sorry I've been kind of inactive but I'm back, we are ready to um, start this YouTube grind again, hopefully. So, um, my plans today were to relax and not do anything, but that obviously changed because I filmed, um, but don't get me wrong, I'm glad I did. Today's video is kind of a mess, kind of, um, cause I'm kind of a mess, so that's good, and I'm glad that you can see it through my behaviors in the video, <laughs> but, um, so that's why I'm kind of crazy in some of it and whatever. I had to bloop out a lot. Anyway, um, today's video, I decided it would be kind of cool, kind of good, kind of fresh to try out the new Morphe X James Charles palette. But um, with a little bit of a twist because I'm tired of seeing palette reviews. Like, let's be honest, there's so many palette reviews and I just want something different. And like, yes, people have been doing stuff, but I just wanted something a little bit more different. So I combined the idea of Instagram chooses my makeup look and a palette review and trying it out, first impressions, all that good stuff. So, um, so on my Instagram earlier today, I put up two polls and um, basically the first poll was saying, should I use the top half of the James Charles palette or the bottom half and my lovely followers chose the bottom half because it's so pretty and so rainbowy and we love her so I stuck with the bottom half and um and then also the next poll was should I do a more pink and purple based um look or a blue and green based look and I think it was a little it was a little intense for a second there but Blue and green eventually won, so I did a blue and green makeup look, as you can see. And, um, so yeah, I kind of let y'all choose. I'm trying to do more of this kind of stuff where y'all can choose and whatever, um, but I just had to get back into the game and whatever and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I think that's it. Hope y'all enjoy it. If you do, um, please like the video. Comment down anything below. Comment down how you feel about this look. Comment your favorite color. Comment how you feel about the palette. Comment your favorite makeup palette. Whatever whatever you want me to comment back to you, I'll comment back, like, whatever. So fire off down at the comments. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, subscribe. It's a pretty lit time here. And I think that's it. All right, kitty girls, so I have my James X Morphe palette right here, and um, I think we're just going to get started. I already put all my base down because y'all know the routine by now. If you don't look back on my previous videos, <laughs> there's nothing I've changed um, besides the fact that today I used the highlighter shade Face in Hello in James's palette because it's a really good highlighter honestly like for my skin tone and everything it just snatches it all together perfectly so I used that and then hello and then I used um this blush shade Mary um which is also a really good blush shade if used in moderation do not forget that these shadows are very pigmented so don't take that to your advantage when you're putting on blush because you might end up looking like Flashback Mary and a little bit more. So just watch out for that. And just a reminder that the shade literally is literally amazing. Like you can, I didn't, I didn't use it today, but you can use it to blend in your blush and highlighter to make it look a little bit more peachy if you like a peachy blush like I usually do. So, um, we're just gonna go into this look, and judging by my Instagram polls, 
the blue and green side one today. So we are going to be doing a look using the blue and greens of the James Charles X Morphe palette. So let's get started. Here's the situation. I'm kind of too poor to afford MAC paint pot right now. So I got an eye primer that's pretty good, pretty close to MAC paint pot. And I'm just gonna dig into this and put it on my eyes. It's just a reminder that um, pressed pigments are in this palette and it's very good to use eye primer instead of concealer. Um, just to get those pigments really on there and blended really good too. All right, and now that we have our eye primer on, we're ready to get started with our base shadows and just get right into the whole look. First off, I'm just gonna grab this fluffy brush and we're gonna go into the shade Face, which is just a nude kind of look, um, just cause I don't really know if I want to do a full blue look yet because that's a little intense, but we all love a good intense blue look. So we'll just have to see, but I'm going in with the shade Face right now and putting it right in the inner corners. I'm gonna take the next shade right by it. Hello. Called Tune. Catchy, James. Catchy. So I'm gonna take this one just to deepen out that crease that I just made. All right now, since we have like a little basic smoky eye moment going here. Um, we're gonna make it intense with all the blues and greens. So we're just gonna hop right into it. So I think first, all looks with this palette, honestly, have to start out with this stunning shade right here, Playground. So I'm gonna take a flat packing brush right here and I'm just gonna pack the shade Playground right onto my crease little bit below where I just put the shade face. All right, now since we have kind of a wing moment going on here, see it forming, um, I'm gonna take a bit of a darker shade, the shade Brother. This is also a pressed pigment, very stunning, very just blue. Like, I don't even know how to describe this. It's just blue. So, <laughs> we're gonna take that and we're gonna finish out um, making the crease and blending out um, that with the shade Tune right on top of it. All right, now I'm just gonna take up take my fluffy brush again, and obviously wiped off, and I'm just going to finish all my mistakes that I. Did.
All right, and I just decided to kind of ditch the whole natural thing of this. This is going all out. So, <laughs> um, we're going to kind of eliminate any yellow and orange shade that we added into there, into the eye so far. And I'm gonna take the shade Social Blade and um, blend it with the shade Playground, Playground right here to make it more of an aqua shade. That's the thesis. All right, and now I'm just gonna take the shade Cola down here. It's a very deep blue. I'm gonna take that to deepen out the wing um, and blend it with, with the shade Brother. Kinda not mad at this look we got going on on this side at least <laughs> so um i'm gonna continue and do it on this side really quick and then we'll be right back Alright, and now to make the wing a little bit more bright because it got a little dark, um, I'm just going to take the shades Acapella, um, Hello, and Playground all at once and just kind of blend it all out. Pray that it works. <laughs> Alright okay, so, so that looks a lot better. It looks a lot more blue instead of like gray. I don't even know what that was. Sorry about that. So she's back. She's kind of slaying now. We're getting somewhere. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my crease and how I cut my crease with this palette since James doesn't recommend concealers for the base. I do still use concealer but what I do is I conceal it and then I either set it in place or just let it chill and dry out for a minute. And then I take more primer and put it on and then it's good. Yeah, I'm gonna go the route of using just primer, but I've experienced a lot of tearing when that happens um, just because it's just what the primer does. And um, you're asking a lot for it to cut the crease and, um, and be a base for your eyes at the same time. I'm just gonna take my concealer, my flat top brush, and just go right in and cut half my crease. Alright, so now that my crease is cut with concealer, I'm going to go in with my eye primer again, and I'm going to do the same process as my concealer, just cover it up with primer. Alright, so now that our crease is half cut, um, we're going to continue with the process and we're going to do the lids next so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the shade hello for um for my highlighting shade for my lids but first we're going to start off with a little bit of flashback and um we're just kind of kind of set up 
a base for that because hello is a little it's not sketchy of a shade but it kind of is sometimes just like artistry and hello <laughs> not hello and um literally because because therefore transitioning and also layering on top of things so hello is a good shade it's just sometimes it needs a base so we're gonna put that on there to kind of brighten it up a little bit more we're gonna put flashback on there to brighten it up a little bit and get that really popping And now I'm just gonna go in and take that shade Hello and highlight the lid. All right, and now as you can see, the crease is very much different from the um, lid highlighting space. We're just gonna fix that really quick with I think I'm gonna mix around playground and brother until I get the right shade that I'm looking for. And then I just went back in and I, um, I blended in the wing with the crease with the shade Brother, um, just to make it blended out and actually normal. All right, now I'm just gonna really blow out those edges and make it look really nice and blended and blown out. Alright, so now I think it looks okay, decent, maybe good, mediocre, I don't know. Comment down below how you feel. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. I haven't been on here for a while. So, <laughs> I hope it looks okay. Um, so now, I'm kind of feeling like we should do some green underneath the lash line. I was going to go for an all blue look but I told y'all I asked y'all blue and green and or pink or, and purple so I feel like I should put more green in here than just blending it in um to the top so I think we're gonna go for a green lash line unless if I change my mind but we'll see so of course I'm gonna go in with a shade social blade down here um to get that base of the lash line going and then we'll go in with the shade daddy in just a second take the shade daddy which is the dark green shade and I'm gonna put it in the middle I think of the lash line just to deepen it out a little bit all right so the bottom lash line is all done and 
Same with the top, I guess, too. So I'm just gonna take my normal mascara, y'all know the drill, and I'm just gonna put it on for a real one, make my lashes look actually present. All right, and then one more thing I always, always forget to do, and it is truly tragic and heartbreaking. I'm going to highlight my inner corners, um, which is kind of bad to forget that because like, it's kind of essential. It really makes your eyes pop and just makes the whole look slap. So how I like to do my, um, my inner corners recently is I take either primer or um, or just my concealer and I put it in the inner corner so then the shadows like stick more if that makes sense and like it pops more so I'm gonna do that and then yeah we'll make this look really snap I'm going to take the shade Ring Light up there. It's a really pretty, like, can't really. I'm gonna take the shade Ring Light and put up my inner corner just to really make this look snap. All right, key girls, and I think that look is pretty much complete eye-wise. Now we're gonna put on some lipstick. I think I'm just gonna go with a nude lipstick. So I'm just gonna take this um, L'Oreal lipstick. Um, I don't even know what shade it, it's in because I just can't read because it is very faded out. You can't even see that it's L'Oreal really. I just know that it is. So I'm gonna take this, put it on. It's a really cute nude shade. And I think it'll work. All right, and now I'm just going to take this Becca lip gloss and go over just um, the center to kind of make it look a little bit more intergalactic because that's what this look reminds me of. It kind of rem reminds me of, like Jeffree Star alien palette vibes. So we're just gonna put this on top to make it kind of intergalactic feeling. And I think we're pretty much done. All right, kitty girls, so I think that is it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed the tea spill of the James Charles X Morphe palette. Uh, if you enjoyed, comment down below and comment down below your favorite shade in the palette, comment down below your favorite color, comment down below suggestions that I should do because I am blank up here. Like there's no ideas going on. I have some now that are kind of churning, so get ready for that. But if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, um, it's a pretty lit time. And um, follow me on my socials, my Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter and everything will be down below in the description. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So 
have a good post Thanksgiving, lose all that Thanksgiving weight that you gained, and <laughs> um, have a happy holidays as they're coming up. And I'll see y'all later. All right. Bye, guys.